Hello YouTube and welcome to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for round number 3 of the MFN SRA Holiday and Cup Series Season 4. And uh, sorry for the long wait, there was a bunch of things going on in the middle with the uh, MFN SRA Olympics and stuff, so I was waiting for all of that to end and now we're going to come here uh, to go back racing. On the pole is a rookie, Richard Johnson. Uh, there's a lot of rookies that have gotten off to a great start and one of them is right there in the 15th. Uh, another one is Adam Smith, right there in the 8 car. He starts 6 today, but anyway, I'm, uh, on the outside of Richard Johnson is Alex Filter in the 51, who took a free fall in the points. He went from 5th to 26th, I believe, something like that. And on row 2, Stephen Ellis will start next to the points leader, Connor Breton. Breton is off to just an unbelievable start. And uh, he did have to go to a uh, post-race inspection after that race in Phoenix. And uh, everything passed, so we brought that car here, and uh, so far so good for Breton uh, to start this season. So yeah, that's the first two rows, and uh, here's the rest of the starting lineup. I'm not going to do that format until the final six races for both the lineup and the standings, just letting you know that. So yeah, uh, so, yeah here's the rest of the starting lineup. Alright, so we're getting ready to go green, and here's the command for today's race. And what? Oh well. Oh, that didn't happen there. Oh well. Richard Johnson is on the pole. Uh, really off to a good start. Ninth in the standings. But uh, he's having the opposite side. He's uh, of luck so far in the Craftsman Car Series. He hasn't made a lot of races, and. Uh, he's looking to uh, do a little better in that series over there, but so far he's off to a good start here. We'll see if he can keep it going here today in Las Vegas. Pace cars off as, we go, as we're getting ready to go to the green flag here, at La here today at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. First time we're racing in the night, and here we go, green flag is out. First time nighttime here at Las Vegas. Other two races have been other three races have been in the daytime here. Down to turn one. Good start for Richard Johnson, and they're looking to go three wide there. Filter on the top, Breton in the middle, Dylan on the bottom. Off of turn two. That's Steven Ellis going to the bottom. Through turns three and four up the track goes Filter. See if they'll make it through. And we're good through lap one. Lots of wrecks happen off of turn four if you watch the season one, two, and three races here. Ellis looking for the lead. Here comes Trent Dunham under John Dillon with John Worry and Chris Summers in tow. Breton's dropped back quite a bit. I think that's about seventh place for him or eighth. Down to turn three. Dunham for third for the lead. Here comes Steven Ellis. Oh, I think I see four wide back there. That doesn't work. There they go. I see smoke. Someone's spinning around. There they go in the wall. Jesse Kaplan, Dougie Shears, Zach Buchanan, Stephen Dillon. And there's more cars wrecking. That's Corey Williams in the nine car. Lots of damage on the Mountain Dew Chevy. Mark Edwards looks like he was involved. Kevin Steen in the 16. Evan Earnhardt, Johnny Gardner. Brandon, oh uh, no, Joshua Currier, I think Stefan Papias, DJ Sorensen, Andrew Schwartz, Ryan Acosta, look, just look at that 9 car, that, that car is crunched on both ends of the car, I don't know what Richard Johnson's doing here, but uh, Buchanan continues his rough start to his HICS career, he is 
really just gotten off to a bad start. So is Johnny Gardner. He we saw him in this wreck as well. Let's see what happened. Um, we're trying to see here. There were four wide back in here. Adam Smith on the top. I don't know if it happened ahead. Might have. That's Mark Edwards and Bubba Fitzpatrick making contact. Oh yeah, that's where this started. And then they came down into Dougie Shears. And Edwards gets into Shears, turns him. Oh, Buchanan and Stephen Dillon really just victims of the cars coming back up the track. There's Galligan. Looks like he might have made some contact. The uh, Phoenix winner. Oh, Corey Williams slams into Mark Edwards. Right there. And there's Gardner getting turned up. Look at Corey Williams' car. Up on its side. Did it go over? Uh, no, I don't think so. But over the one of Joshua Courier. Wow. Alright, uh, I don't know why I'm doing the 30 car. Uh, it's right on board Brandon Tedisco in the 56. Him and Galligan, I don't know if they got, they were kind of through it, but I couldn't tell if they got damage or not. I don't go in slow mo to really tell. Looks like Galligan made a little contact. Oh yeah, Galligan came down into Brandon Tedisco, and you see right there the hood got buckled up a little bit on the right side of the 56, so both cars probably got a little bit of damage. So yeah, let's go back green here. From Los Well, the only reason I'm not talking about points, it's too early to tell uh, where people are, are going to end up. Of course, last season, we, we definitely couldn't tell because Jack Richards was 31st after like 10 races and then he came up to be the second wild card with three victories so we can't really tell uh, where everything's gonna happen but probably after five races when we're really gonna start talking about points it's only the beginning of the season after this there's still 21 races left before the season's over and of course no chase this season so here we go Richard Johnson will bring him back down to the green flag Good start for the 15, as well as Ellis, it looks like. Summers going for fourth. In that 62 under John Worry. Tough luck in Phoenix for the 10 team. They uh, they uh, got wrecked on lap one from third place. Here comes Ellis for the lead. Ellis looking to become the all-time leader once again. Him and Ospina are tied with five. Dunham to the bottom. He would He wants his first career win in that 91 car. Lots of guys at the front. And there's the guy with the longest windless track. And Filter just blew an engine. Filter is on the bottom of the track. I don't know what happened there. There's a lot of cars slowing. I think, I think the caution's out. Oh yeah, look, there's a bunch. There's Buchanan smoking. Evan Earnhardt's got more. Looks like it's just a bunch of cars that were in, the, that were in a wreck already. What happened this time? All right. Oh, let's rewind just a little bit. Looks like CJ Sorensen and Diego Spina got into Arnold Columbia. Now, these are cars that weren't in Iraq. Oh, that's a hard hit for that 11 car. There's Stefan Papias. And I think all, just all these cars just piled in back here. There's DJ Sorensen, Kevin Steen, Evan Earnhardt, Ryan Acosta. There's Galligan again. Johnny Gardner. And then... There's more. Look at that. 11 car. Wow. He got slammed by uh, Buchanan and uh, Dougie Shears as well as Joshua Currier. Well, Columbia took that wild ride in Phoenix. So lots of cars involved here. Most, most of them here were involved in the first wreck as well, like Buchanan, Galligan, Papias, and Acosta. I don't know. No, Papias wasn't. What am I saying? Oh, well. Let's go back. 27 laps here today, and uh, it's Ellis, Dunham, Ri uh, Richard Johnson, Summers, Worry, Dylan, Breton, Martin, Richards, and LaFlair, the top 10. Stephen Ellis has gotten off to a rough start, unlike last season. Here we go, come to take the green flag here on lap number 13. Now we're on lap number 13. Here we go. 
Didn't look like Dunham got off to such a great start because here comes Richard Johnson to right to the bottom in that 15 car. Battle for fifth, John Dillon, John Worry. Worry, the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series, newest Bass Pro Shop Cup Series champion. Connor Breton still in this mix. He's in seventh. Going to come off a of turn four. Richard Johnson's going to get second. He wants more. He wants to take that lead back from Stephen Ellis. He's not going to do it with this lap. Summers looking for third. Breton looking for the top five spot now. Luke Martin, another rookie. And Jack Richards in the 99. Making some ground up. The Bud Shootout winner. And up front, ooh, Johnson did a nice job keeping off that 46 of Ellis. And here comes Chris Summers as well. This, it's been... I'm trying, uh, that's 17, I'm counting here, 17, that's 65, 67 race winless drought. That's the longest of any driver in the series, that, or that has a win anyway. Of course, there's a lot of drivers that don't have a win. They'll come off turn four, that, there's a lot of good racing going on right here. Back down to turn one. Here comes Luke Martin up into the fourth position in that 83 car, having a good run today. Three wide, this is for the sixth position. Looks like John Dillon, Seth Cole, and Connor Breton. Breton way up the track in that 24 car. Oh, there they go! Brandon Baines around! Sean Henley! Pacioli, and Pacioli gets slammed by Stefan Papias. And Pacioli is said barrel rolling. Oh, man. Papias is in it. There's Jack Richards, Sean Henley, Johnny Gardner. Angel Hernandez is spun down turn one. Gardner in another wreck. He's been in all, in all three wrecks so far. But I saw the 99 and the 30 get got turned there. Brandon Bain last in the standings, and more bad luck for the third team to start. Let's see. I saw Breton go way up the track in front of these guys. He got so lucky, he, he didn't even get in the wreck. And Aaron Williams didn't either. He, he's, third, he's second in the standings. But, once again, it's too early to start talking about points. Look at, I think Henley just slid up into Jack Richards. And down into Brandon Bain. And hard in the wall. Look at Henley gets up on two wheels. Adam Smith does a nice job using the outside to get through that. Now there's Pacioli went right into Jack Richards. And he's going to get hit. I think Hernandez made a little contact. But some, it was the 82, Stefan Papias. And Galligan got in again as well. There's Kevin Steen slams into uh, Papias as Pacioli barrel rolls down the track. The season three champion, Timmy Pacioli, upside down here at Las Vegas. Johnny Gardner hit Poppy as afterwards. Now, Angel Hernandez was spinning over here. Oh, oh, Schwartz. Andrew Schwartz just came right up the track and into Hernandez. Huh, strange incident there. All right, let's go back green. We're, uh, we're going to have less than 10 laps. Chris Summers, Richard Johnson, Luke Martin, Stephen Ellis, and Trent Dunham, the top five. Summers looking to end that long 67 race winless drought. And here he comes. Green flag is back out. Not a bad start for that 15 of Richard Johnson. He's been up on the wheel when the... When the starts come again and here he goes he's trying to get under summers two rookies in the top five there's the other one luke martin off of turn two here comes dunham for fourth dunham wants that first career win he didn't get one through through his rookie season last season for the lead richard johnson
to the bottom, and what a great job this 15 team is doing today with Richard Johnson. This, uh, we, we talked about Eric Burton in the last race. Richard Johnson wants to be better than Eric Burton at Phoenix and go for a win. Luke Martin would like to as well. Off of turn two, look three wide back here. That's Aaron Williams. We haven't even talked about him today, but he's been driving through the field. He's, he's actually highest of the rookies in the standings coming into this race. There's Connor Breton. John Dillon. Fitzpatrick's back in this mix. Look at Steven Ellis. He restarted fourth. He's dropping way back. Matt McMurray moving through. Connor McPherson. There's Eric Burton again. Off of turn two. This Next time by four laps to go. Luke Martin's taking over the lead at the front. Here comes Richard Johnson back to the bottom. Here he comes. Off of turn four. Coming in four laps to go. Dunham wants to get in this mix. He's going for second. Worry is now in fourth. And Aaron Williams is in the top five in that 38 car. Three wide for six. Summers looking to split the gap. Makes a little contact, and Summers is dropping way back now. Matt McMurray making some ground. Coming to three laps to go. Trent Dunham to the bottom. And that Verizon Dodge. Here we go. Three to go. And Dunham led that lap, and here comes Luke Martin in that DiGiorno Toyota going for the lead. And John Worry is still there in that 10 car. And Aaron Williams is in the mix, and so is Connor Breton. Here we go, coming at two to go. Now, now Worry wants the lead, and here comes Aaron Williams. He's right there within striking distance. Whoa, that 83 almost came down into Aaron Williams. That was close. Worry and Richard Johnson at the front. Williams, Breeden, and Luke Martin, the top five. Now Dunham wants to go for fifth. I don't know. I think it's going to be a two-car battle now. Worry and Johnson are starting to pull away. Williams drives it in deep, but here comes Breeden to the bottom. Dunham makes it three wide for third. Coming to the white flag, Richard Johnson wants the lead. And he's going to get it going into one. Can Worry make one last drive? Dunham's going to get third from Aaron Williams. Richard Johnson to the lead. Off of turn two. Here comes Worry. Can he have one more crossover move? Through three and four. Here he comes. He wants to get there, and there he is. Coming off of turn four, it's going to be a drag race. Will it be Richard Johnson or John Worry? Coming to the line, it's going to be Richard Johnson wins his first career race in his third career race. Richard Johnson wins at Las Vegas. Wow. Trent Dunham got third. Aaron Williams and Luke Martin, the top five. Three rookies in the top five. Richard Johnson as the just stopped there. Connor McPherson. We didn't even speak about him. He he drove his way up to sixth. Seventh ended up being Summers. Eighth Brian LaFleur Jr. Ninth Connor Breton. Seth Cole got the into the top ten. And just look at the top right for your results here. Okay, so there's the top ten. He already mentioned it. Connor Breton, three top tens to start this season. Really good so far for the Muscle Milk team. Here's 11 through 20. Uh, a lot of guys here that were up at the front early, like John Dillon and Stephen Ellis, uh, that didn't end up at the front. And then Sean Henley, we saw him at the front before he got wrecked. He was still somewhat, in, uh, somewhat with the lead pack, though. And then uh, 29th on backer cars that were out of the race, Johnny Gardner, Stefan Papias, Kevin Steen, Timmy Pacioli, Alex Filter, Mark Edwards, Zach Buchanan, Jesse Kaplan, Evan Earnhardt, Joshua Currier, Arnold Columbia, Dougie Shears, uh, Stephen Dillon, and Corey Williams with a last place finish here today at Las Vegas. Tough break for the nine team. But uh, 
yeah, that'll do it. And uh, here's the point standings here. And uh, if there's a little star next to your name, that means that you're eligible. However, if you don't have a win, if you didn't win last season, or you didn't win this season, but you're in the top five, you are you are in the All Star race unless you fall back out of the top five. Uh, just if you're want, uh, just if you're wondering if you're top five without, like if you're Aaron Williams, you're not locked in unless you're in the top five by the time of the All Star race. Just just uh, I'll explain the All Star format sometime to all the rookies. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and here's the stand.